What's going on everybody? It is Sergeant Kodiak here and today I'm going to tell you a funny story. No names will be named today, but I have become a victor of a fight. I just dropped a remote. <laughs> but today guys, basically, I want to tell you a little story and uh, why you shouldn't get butt hurt over things. And especially things in this situation. So, I used to be a buddy of mine was talking smack to one of my best friends and she didn't like it and she I don't I don't know um what was going through her head really but we were talking it out and we came to the conclusion we need to call him out and we need to discuss what's going on why he said the things he said so what does this have to do with anything so on the bus today he's been avoiding us for two almost a week uh, I think it's been the last four days he has been avoiding us. He skipped the bus, then he skipped school, and uh, didn't ride the bus last night because he knew he was going to get it. And But he finally got on because I guess mommy and daddy didn't want to give him a ride anymore. And so we decided, okay, this is the time. So we go back there and we start confronting him. It's like, hey, why did you say these things? Uh, we don't like it. And it was all her. We all made her do it. Uh, my friend in this situation. Uh, we all made her start it because it was concerning her. Ooh, nice tomahawk. I forgot about that. Um, so I wanted her to start it, and we were there just in case he tried to do anything funny because he did threaten to hit her. So if you guys think this is bullying, trust me, this is all well needed and deserved. So what we started talking, he was ignoring us for the longest time. And then finally she got irritated and kept on talking and talking and talking. And then... He finally just, oh wow, I missed it. How, how am I that much of a scrub? But finally, he just snapped. And it was pretty funny, not going to lie. And he started calling me out on some stuff. And so I called him out on a lot of stuff. And I asked him, uh, why do you think this is okay? Why did you do this? And he couldn't argue a point. And this is where the wrecking comes in, in the gameplay and in the story. Because that escort drone got me so many kills. If it wasn't for the escort drone, I don't think my team would have won. Because the second place team was only 7 kills and like 13 deaths. And I was 40 and 7. But this escort drone goes in and net, doesn't let anybody out. I don't think anybody was running ghost or anything. It was pretty cool. But the thing is... Hold on. I gotta jump the gameplay. And I'll be right back. Sorry about that, guys. There was a host migration in the middle, and I didn't have my Elgato open, so I had to pull this through theater mode. And so back to the story, what was going on, he started yelling. It was so funny. He started yelling because he knew he didn't have a point to argue, so he just wanted to be threatening. He wanted to be confrontational. He wanted to seem like he was the bigger dog, so we would back off. But we didn't. I pushed through like I always do, and basically end of the story he went home all butthurt and I heard him start crying before he got into his garage and he slammed doors and I'm pretty sure he broke his window and I heard a little crash and crank but I am fine now I got what needed to be set out and there, there was a little bit of a roast going on but he tried roasting me so I roasted him it's just how it's gonna roll I could either be the nicest guy you'll ever meet or one of the meanest so, basically, what does this have to do with the moral of the story of the video is that don't be butthurt. If you know you're, you're going to say some shite to somebody and you can't back it up, don't say it at all. Because that's what started this whole thing with him. Is that he said something that was completely unnecessary. He even said he doesn't know why he said it. And then, I know, I know he has an, a reason why he said it. Because he's not smart, and be, so he just says the dumbest things. He makes it so obvious that he's lying. Let me know what you guys think. Um, did I do the right thing and stick up for my friend? Because there has been times when I've told a story about the kid who thought he he was queer. Um, which we're still friends to this day. I, me and Alex, we have a great time. I probably shouldn't have said his name, but it's not like you're going to reveal everything. We have classes together and we have lunch together. We all hang out. So, I can't... The reason why I wanted to put that disclaimer out is because I got called a bully when I told that story, and it's like, oh, I'm sorry, I can't be subbed to a bully. Nothing was bullying, trust me, that goes on, way worse goes on in schools all the time. It was a harmless prank, we stopped them before really any real damage was done. So, I just want your guys' opinion, whether I did the right thing or not. 
because this really irked me for a few days and I just needed to get that off my chest. And if you guys were in the, if you were the victim, or supposedly the victim in this situation, him, the guy we were yelling at, what would you have done? And what do you think my friend, the girl, should have done? Anyway, guys, that's the video for today. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay, and please subscribe for more content. I'm planning on going daily just because our internet caps have stopped getting hit. So I think I'm done with the every other day schedule. But it's always going to be for sure every other day. So definitely leave a like on the video if you agree with me. Leave a like if you thought I did the right thing. And leave a like. <laughs> and share if you thought the story was funny. I'll see you all later. And by the way, if you're one of my friends in real life, don't share this to Facebook. Please. Talking to you. Yeah. Cause I got it like that Flow so smooth like I got it on tap Yeah, and I'ma say it be a good night While I'm on my yingling, while I'm drinking Bud Light Uh, can you get it when you miss me? Like I'm with whiskey, drinking Jim Beam Yeah, baby, do you do it, do it that way? Do you do that? Do you take a ray? Uh, yeah, you know that I'm a beast When I kill it on the beach, like it's sex on the beach Like it's Malibu, take it to the California way Cause we do it, yeah, baby, we can California carry Like we on that, uh, iced up Yeah, on the floor, get it mic'd up I put it down like this, 24-7 Let me have the fucking Get in Seagram 7